The AMD Radeon RX 6000 series is currently one of the most popular GPUs in the market. And not only do they offer excellent graphics capabilities compared to competitor GPUs, but they also perform really well when handling next-gen releases. Unfortunately, its biggest rival, the NVIDIA RTX 3000 series, still manages to edge it out and get the lion's share of the market in 2021. However, AMD is planning to change all of that with the release of the next-gen Radeon RX 7000 GPU series, as well as the Ryzen 7000 CPU series, as they look to pile the pressure on NVIDIA this upcoming year. So, what should we expect with their upcoming GPUs and CPUs? And will the RDX and Ryzen be the answer to NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 4000 series? Let's take a look. The Radeon RX 7000 series architecture. It's worth noting here that the RDNA 2 architecture in the RX 6000 series was a great success. It had gained so much popularity that it even featured both the PS5 and Xbox Series X consoles. But now, AMD has decided to give the RDNA 2, commonly known as the Big Navi, a huge upgrade. Folks, the Radeon RX 7000 series is expected to come with the highly anticipated RDNA 3 architecture. Rumor has it that the RDNA 3 architecture is going to come with the same level of raw power, as well as performance, as the RDNA 2. However, the difference here is that the company is going to be boosting the RDNA 3 with next generation IP cores so it has record superior graphics processing capabilities. That being said, no concrete features have been revealed just yet on how enhanced it's going to actually be. AMD's highly anticipated GPUs are also going to have a modern chipset design, a feature that's not commonly found in their initial GPUs. But AMD has decided to borrow a leaf from its Ryzen CPUs and implemented this design. The design has been critical in helping the company recordly improve gains in its CPU predecessors, at least in the last five years, which is why there's a lot of hope that their upcoming GPUs can end up being a transformative experience within the gaming industry. Specifications the Radeon RX 7000 series is going to launch with three GPU modes, specifically the Navi 31, 32, and 33. In fact, AMD is going to be making a transition from the 7 nanometer processor to the 5 nanometer and 6 nanometer processors, respectively, on the new Radeon RX series. According to the accidental leak made by one of the lead engineers at AMD via LinkedIn, the specifications of each Navi node will be as follows. The Navi 31 is going to be a multi-chip module capable of either the 5 nanometer or 6 nanometer process, and will feature 15,360 cores and will be the primary node for the Radeon RX 7900 XT GPU, which is expected to be the most powerful GPU in the upcoming series. It's also expected to consume a whopping 400 watts of power due to the fact that it has a high performance nature. Similar to the Navi 31, the Navi 32 is also going to be a multi-chip module with either the 5 or 6 nanometer process, and will feature 10,240 cores, and is going to be the primary node for the Radeon RX 7700 XT GPU. It's going to be about a mid-range GPU, and will consume 300 watts power. Lastly, the Navi 33, which will be a monolithic chip module with the 6 nanometer process, will feature 5,120 cores and is going to be the primary chip for the Radeon RX 7700 XT. The chip will have a power consumption of around 200 watts. Performance Despite no 100% confirmation from AMD about the exact increase in performance between the 6000 and 7000 series, the transformation from a 7 nanometer to a 5 nanometer processor should see a performance increase of about 40%. And AMD is also looking to enhance the ray tracing within this series thanks to the new nanometer processing. The release date and pricing. Because of the ongoing chip shortage, we could see about a 7-10% to increase in the price of the RX 7000 when compared to the RX 6000's price launch. This means that the RX 7000 could retail anywhere from $1000 all the way up to $1200. And as for the release date, the RX 7000 series would probably hit the supermarket by September 2022 at the earliest in order to compete with Nvidia's upcoming RTX 4000 series. The Radeon Ryzen 7000 Architecture 
Now moving along to the Radeon Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, AMD has stated that this is going to be the most ambitious and most powerful Zen architecture CPU which has ever been attempted. They stated that it's going to revolutionize computer processing speeds and performance, which was something that we saw back in 2017 from their previous chipsets, so we're definitely interested to see how they can top it off. So far, AMD has released six generation of Ryzen chips with three different Zen architectures. Currently, the Ryzen 6000 series is the most recent CPU in the market, which boasts up to Zen 3 Plus architecture. But with the anticipation of the Zen 4 heating up, we should expect to see the upcoming Ryzen 7000 series make it that much more intriguing. Well, in terms of architecture, the first notable thing about the Zen 4 is that AMD is going to be migrating from the AM4 to the AM5 platform, which just means a fresh start for all their CPUs like the Ryzen's from 1000 all the way to 5000 that will no longer be supported by the AMD's new platform. That's due to the fact that the AM5 is going to be equipped with a brand new LGA1718 socket. This company is dropping its initial pin grade array drought, or PGA, to focus on the LAN grid array, or LGA, which is identical to what most Intel uses on its desktop processors. One of the main reasons why AMD is switching from the PGA to the LGA platform is due to the processing demands of the next generation such as DDR5 and PCIe Gen 5, which the AM5 platform will frequently encounter. The LGA socket also has a single latch, meaning that there's going to be no pins below the processors. Similar to the Radeon RX 7000 series, the Radeon CPUs will use a 5 nanometer process engine engineered by the TSMC. This is expected to improve instructions per clock speeds by up to 25% whenever compared to the Ryzen 3. The architecture is also rumored to be supporting up to 24 cores, although that is not 100% confirmed. But if there is any truth to this speculation, that means that the Ryzen 4 is going to be capable of supporting twice as many cores as the previous Gen 3. And this new architecture could also double the core count from 128 to 256 delivering greater levels of performance. Another new and upcoming feature expected to make it to the Ryzen 4 is RAM, also known as Ryzen Accelerated Memory Profile. This new feature is going to be equipped to enhance DDR5 memory overclocking on the chip. And overall, the Ryzen CPU will be expected to be the performance compliance of the Radeon RDX 7000 series. A combination of both chips in your gaming setup could see an exponential rise in performance, speeds, and of course, graphic capabilities. The two were designed for next-gen releases and are going to be able to handle the intense levels of gaming expected to be coming in the next year. However, both cards will cost you a pretty penny, with the Ryzen 4 expected to retail between $900 and $1,000 and the RX 7000 already at the $1,000 price point. So you're looking at upwards of just $2,200 to get a fully-fledged AMD gaming system added to your home. The question is though, will it be worth the buy? Well, we'll give you a detailed review on that once both chips hit the market. As for now, we've come to the end of this video, so let us know what you think about the upcoming AMD series of GPUs and CPUs alike. Could they be the much needed answer to the next level gaming puzzle? Also, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel, as well as clicking on that notification bell to get informed of all the content that we put out here on the channel. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.